Hey, what's up? So, uh, I want to actually read from Genesis because I think there's two key elements in the story of creation that actually apply to business and apply to our lives in regards to the blessings that God gives us, but the things that we've got to be willing to do for ourselves. Okay, so check this out. It says here in Genesis 2.15, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work and take care of it. And the Lord God commanded the man, you are free to eat any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Hmm. Okay, so there's two things uh, out of those three verses that I take away. The two things that I take away that are crucial to what it is that I'm talking about here and implementing into our ideas of business and building, you know, building our life. Um, first, he says, he took the man and he put him in the garden. So God created this garden. He created all the plants, everything that he needed to be sustainable and for him to live. And he put all these animals and everything was there. And he created man and he put man in the garden. Okay, so Adam was blessed with everything that he needed. See, a lot of people look back and they're like, well, Adam and Eve messed things up and now, you know, we don't have everything. No, we, God, still, God still blesses us. We walk in sin and we walk in the lives that we create for ourselves. But God puts blessings all around us and God gives us every opportunity for success and for prosperity all around us if, as he said here, put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. You've got to be willing to work for those blessings that are around you and you've got to be willing to take care of them. Our blessings are given out of love. They're given out of love. They're not given just because we deserve them. They're given out of love, but they're preserved through our obedience and our willingness to work for those blessings. So God gives us everything that we need. But second, the second thing that I take from this is he said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. God puts us in community. I've talked about this uh, multiple times about the idea that, you know, we're not meant to walk alone. Now, maybe you... Um, you feel like you haven't found the right person. Maybe you don't feel like you're meant for marriage. Maybe not. But like I said, I think this is this applies not just to marriage. Now, in here, they weren't talking about marriage. He was talking about a partner for Adam. And I think, like I said, as in life, as in business, yeah, we're not that we have people. around us. So I say this, like I said, in regards to business, I say take the opportunity that you can and help out your fellow man. You see a, your friend, your homeboy, your cousin, you know, working on a business. Do what you can to be support. What, what resources do you have to offer them? And in the same token, if you're building your business, don't be scared and don't be ashamed to talk to your friends, family, and homeboys and, you know, everything like that. The people that, the, the people that you've known and reach out to them to see if they can help build you up as well. We're put in community with purpose. All right. Y'all take that for what it is. I hope that it blesses you as much as it's blessed me. And let's just keep lifting one another up. Let's build more on the foundation of God. But let's also build on a foundation of community and building each other up. Y'all please share your comments below. Tag somebody. Share this with somebody. Like, subscribe. I got more coming at y'all. It's your boy. I got love and respect for y'all. Y'all have a most excellent day.